Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Let's get it, baby. We're gonna be heading in here. This temple looking looking area. Ooh. Jonah, I found Incan ruins, but I think the foundation of the temple is older. Yeah. Abby remembered where she saw that symbol. It's inside the temple somewhere. Great. Tell her thank you for me. I'm right here. You can thank me by not breaking anything. <laughs> I'll be right there, Lara. There you go. That'll do. Can I read you? Yeah, we can. Kony Rea, the Incan god of the moon. He was relatively low in status, so he didn't have a mate. This tells the story of how he reshaped his sperm into the form of a fruit. What? Which impregnated the goddess Kavirka when she ate it. Ah. Uh. His pregnancy came as quite a surprise since Kavirka was a virgin. Huh. But when her son was born, the boy immediately solved the question of his paternity by crawling right towards Kony Rea. Kavirka was so humiliated by Kony Rea's low standing that she fled with her son to Peru, where they turned into coastal rocks. Wow. Y'all think you have family baggage. How about that? Alright? Anybody who thinks they got baggage, just, just keep that in mind next time you bitch. Alright. Uh, I really want to go that way, but not yet. What's up, dude? I can hear them calling from under the earth. The voices. The old gods. Maybe you just need to rest. No. See for yourself. See where the breath of the gods rises from the womb of the earth. Listen to their pained howls. I haven't noticed that. Where is this breath? You'll see. You'll hear it. Perhaps you can ease their suffering. Oh, there's a tune. Very nice. Ah, see, now we can get outside the village. Okay. You know what? Let's go, uh... Let's take a, take a breather from the main mission. Miss Ortiz, thank you for your recent inquiry. A water quality index, WQI, was calculated for river sites surrounding the village of Kawakyaku from the samples you provided, and results have shown that the river sites should be classified as bad water quality. The results of the study have shown large-scale impacts that include siltation, chemical pollution, and heavy metal pollution. Turbidity and total solids exceeded the environmental limits. Water of high turbidity, hazy, murky water, cannot be used as potable water, and the high total solids also imply that it cannot be used as irrigation water as well, as this will damage infrastructure. It is most likely that any subsistence fishing that took place before is no longer possible at the affected river sites, thereby impacting negatively on people's livelihoods. Similarly, pH was in the high alkaline range as well as COD. These parameters were indicative of some chemical pollution in the river, the pH, that is alkaline, hard water, is corrosive and can damage plumbing equipment and clothes. High levels of fluoride in the water poses the risk of diseases such as dental and skeletal fluorosis. The presence of pathogenic bacteria such as salmonella also represents an immediate health risk for the local community. Damn. The detail is incredible. Haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> Don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Difficult, but good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Hmm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it. So they all came to protect it, too. Makes sense. Work that hard on something, you don't want to just get washed away. Huh. 
However we get under as long as we're under, right? This is a dedication to Supe, god of death and ruler of Uku Pasha, the Incan underworld. It entreats him to come forth with his legions of demons and to converge on this site where the local people will do him honor with written poems extolling his greatness or offerings of food and drink. By paying him the respect he deserves in this way, the local people pray he will only take those he must and not harm any others of their community unnecessarily. Ha! Huh. Hey, buddy. Are you okay? You're coming after me? Who? Are you Pablo? Yes. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abby's. Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get out of here. Enter the crypt. Alright. What? That doesn't sound good. I'm pretty fucking sure no one called break. You mother truckers. <laughs> oh, we're gonna bring the pain, baby. Shit. <laughs> you son of a What the hell got into it? You used to Worth. Totally worth. What an asshole. Are the finds here even worth it? They are. True. Almost 100% markup. See ya! We get it. See ya. We don't need that. Um. So much for stealth, but we took them out. All of them. Look at that. Line them up. Oh, look at all the people. Y'all are good now. Don't worry about it. Hello. Gather your things. I go back to the village. Bless you. Thank you. What do we got here? Ah. Okay. This knife is a cheap plastic replica of those traditionally used to sacrifice llamas in the Inti Raimi or Sun God Festival. It was also occasionally used to perform trepanning surgery. The Inca believed that cutting a hole in the skull could relieve pressure to cure some diseases. Oh. 
Um, well, thankfully modern medicine has debunked that theory. Yeah, man, it's, uh, it's like when you shake a can and the pressure gets built up. We just gotta pop a tiny hole in your head and it'll be fine. Once that, uh, once that built up pressure's out of there, you'll be right as rain. Dude, I don't know where we're going right now, but I don't care. Up, up, and away. Whoa, okay, okay, okay. Oh. I need to switch weapons, please. Whoa! And now we zip line. Oh, baby. Woo! Hell yeah. All right. Hey, check us out. Oh, see this. Cat's claw, reddish vine, sometimes in the Amazon canopy for healing. All right, cool. Any other Lutsky doodles we're missing out on here? Nope. Okay. Medicine plants can be used for healing. Wowzers! It's a gosh darn miracle. Yeah. Excuse me. I do apologize. Alright, Lara. Back to the village. Dude, I love the, uh, I love the little wrap thing she has on her right hand. I assume that's for arrow shooting. Or she has an injury. Nah, it's definitely... I've worn one of those before. It's definitely a, uh... What do you call it? It's like a... Protects your hands from when you pull the arrows back. Friction. There you go. That's what it is. Alright, girl. Back to the village we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I thought she pulled her gun. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> he better be. Our boy better be okay. Are we going back to the, uh, to the dad, or we have to talk to Omar? Nope. We're going back to the dad. I know it sounds silly. There they are. There's our guy. Pablo told me what you did. I... I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again. The River Hawk! Nice. That's a rare achievement. Yo. All right. Hold on. Okay. Get rid of the pillagers outside of Kawakiaku. Okay. That's a rare... Now listen, people. P playing through this game. I want y'all... Because I get it. Right now, it's only early access. Will y'all get your hands on this game? I want you to be good Samaritans. And I want you to help my boy Pablo. You understand? That better not be a rare achievement next time I look at it. I swear to God. Y'all are better than that. I'm ashamed in the Croft Edition players for having such a small percentage of having done that. But I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Main story. That's what everybody wants to see. And with that being said, that's where we're going to go next. To the Incan Temple. Alright, baby. Let's move along. Actually, let's stop back at the Merchant. Maybe. Maybe. 
Where the hell is the door? I just walked in last time. Oh, okay. This is the merchant, and then that's the temple. Gotcha. I've got some stuff to trade if you're looking. Sure. How do you do? Check out what I have. Yeah, we're gonna spend some gold here. So we're gonna grab. We're gonna grab a rifle ammo. Where I want that. So we're gonna buy that. A good deal for both of us. Damn right. Asking price. Buy an item from a merchant. Okay, cool. I like that. Black powder. Hide boots of Urku. Yeah, we don't need that. Uh, our weapons are fine. Pistol suppressor. That wouldn't be... But we have a bow, so... Whatever. Nine strides harness. Cotton and braided llama wool harness once worn by someone named Nine Strides. Provides the ability to craft more ammunition. Oh, that's interesting. Um... Nah. Come back soon. We're good. Alright. Into the Incan Temple. Off we go. Don't break anything. Remember what she said. Don't break anything! Hey. Looks a lot bigger on the outside. Yeah, it does. What'd you do? <laughs> Try to look. Ishal and Shakshal. The twins come together. What is it? Laura, I... What? Abby said not to break anything. I'm not breaking it. I'm restoring the original. Someone was trying to hide it. <clears throat> the twins come together before following the path of the living. It's been tampered with. Like that thing in Mexico. This must lead to the next clue. Go. I'll stay here. See what else I can find. Sounds good. <laughs> I thought she was going to be like there, right? I thought she was going to be right there like, I told you not to break anything. Great. Damn. Trinity already there, trying to blast their way in. I'm gonna take a closer look. Of course they're already here. Do we unlock a new area of the map? Alright, so we're gonna have to go... What have we missed out on so far? Okay. Alright, so what we're gonna do... My plan for this series, by the way, because I'm titling it as a 100% walkthrough. And, uh... You guys are probably wondering, well, when does the 100% kick in? Well, I'll tell you. We're gonna do streams of this game as well. And that's when... <laughs> Woo! Swan dive! Anyway, we're going to be doing streams. Uh, I haven't decided when or how I'm going to schedule that yet. But I figure since we have over two weeks until four's up, we have plenty of time to play around with this game in depth. And so we're going to stream all the extra tombs and whatnot so that you guys can be a part of the action. 
And I'm super excited for it. Yeah, this guy's definitely the big deal, real deal. Aha! Uh -huh. Those drones were unexpectedly heavy and sharp. Boat looks okay, though. I'm glad you're here. We have a problem. Jenny again? I'm on it. Us to search underwater, he wants us to search everywhere. See ya! Equipment or something better. Bunch of underwater drones. This feels bad. Very bad. Man, this is Dock Station. Operation. How should I know? We haven't been able to reach them. Still? See ya! Alright. Sweet deal. Anything useful over here? Yep. Hey. When the Lord gave his covenant to Noah, saying never again will he destroy this world, it can be interpreted as he has decided humanity has learned their lesson. But have we? There is also a different interpretation to be made, and that is that he has given the agency of destruction to mankind itself. We are responsible for every living soul, and they are now tarnished and besot. It has been 4,000 years since the world saw purity, and we aim to end that. We will be the architects of the new world. We will pave the street to heaven for all. We will usher an end to this sinful, reprehensible world. Yeah, that's only, you know, Semi ominous and depressing. Well, what are you gonna do? Super villains. All full up. Can't carry any more. Or I guess in these guys' case, just criminals. Laura, you okay? Yeah, there's a Trinity base here. Hey, Jonah, I. What happened here? I said don't. Break anything. <laughs> hey, Abby, I can explain. I'll get back to you later, Lara. Don't do anything crazy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I knew it. I told y'all what happened. What do we got? Trinity's really on edge. Still, if they're here, they're ahead of us. At least it means I'm on some sort of track. If Dominguez is right and the sun is dying, I have to get to that box before he does.
Never slip on garaging ledges. More reaction time for traps. Yeah, we'll go with that. Reduce damage when falling from great heights. Resist damage from enemies for a short period of time after healing a wound. Oh, yes, please. Complete a challenge tomb to unlock. Okay, so there's... One, two, three... Four, five... Six... Seven perks you unlock by completing the challenge tombs. That's pretty cool. Alright, sweet. Anything else to say? Inventory. Let's see. The river hawk. Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and switch to that, and we'll actually upgrade it as well. We'll give it some extra damage. Bump up the recoil resistance. Twice. <laughs> Bump the rate of fire. Twice. Hell, we'll just give it everything if we can. Extended mags? Why not? Yeah, baby. Alright. Have a fully upgraded pistol, for now, anyway. We'll stick with our bow. Alright, y'all. I like it. We got another base. Alright. That's gonna do it for this episode, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed that one. If you did, drop a like on the video and subscribe for more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. And I will see you all in the next video.